it's Hannah here and welcome to a new vlog series. This one is called Shop Vlog. This vlog series is basically gonna be about my business processes and learnings. So if you guys have any questions or video suggestions with regards to how to set up a store, an online store, how to ship, how to set up an Instagram shop, how to set up a Shopee shop, I just want to help you guys build your own business, whether that's slime or whether that's something else, how to market, how to do social media. So yeah, for today's video, I'm gonna be focusing on how I pack my orders and no it is not as simple as just getting a bag and putting all the products in because for me packing an order there needs to be some experience that the customer needs to see or like feel where you know they just feel loved and they just feel that you put effort into packing that package because when you order things online and you just get a package obviously that's exciting but when the package has like freebies and notes and cute bags, then it just makes your heart even more happy. So yeah, I'm gonna be taking you guys along my process on how I pack the orders, what I include in every single thing and how it looks like so that you guys have an idea how your package would look like if you order from my shop. So yeah, without further ado, let's move on to step one. So what I do is I schedule a day where I will ship all the orders. So like over one week, for example, I'm gonna make sure that everything is shipped out by Sunday. So from Monday to Saturday, I'm gonna be setting the packing order deadline on Sunday. I usually ship every week because it's hard to keep on shipping every day. Step number one is gathering all my shipping details and writing the name of the person who's going to receive the package as well as their tracking number. The reason why I do this is to first keep track of how many orders I have and second, I need to identify whose package is what so that when I give it to the courier, they know how to label it and which one goes to who. So what I do is basically go on my computer and type down um, the name of the person as well as their tracking number and then I print it out and cut it into pieces and lay it down on a table so that I can pack the orders one by one. The second step is to look at every order and basically get their orders from my slime supplies and I put it near their name or under their name tag just so that I know that this is for them. The third thing I do is if some of the products don't have a label yet, I cut out labels or maybe I've already cut them out and I just stick them on the products. Labeling your products is so important for branding so that people know that that is your product and they can associate your logo with the products that they receive. The fourth step for me is to prepare the calling card and the care guide. For the people who ordered slime packages, I give them a slime care guide so that they know how to take care of the slime. And for every order, I put a calling card. This is actually optional, but for me, I like to give a personalized note that I written and just thanking the person for ordering from the shop, encouraging them to give feedback. So I found that these are very helpful for contact. It's very helpful for them to know and be familiar with your shop and your products so that they can order again in the future. The fifth step is probably one of my favorites. It's actually preparing the freebies and the extras. I don't know, but like growing up, what I really appreciate about the kawaii community, so like squishies and slime, is that whenever you buy from people's shop on Instagram, they always give you these extra squishies or extra slime materials or extra slime. And it just makes everything so worth it. And it gives the packaging more character and more generosity. And it just makes you feel even happier about the products that you bought because you have freebies and you have extras. And those are just so cool. And the bigger 
your order is obviously the bigger your extra is so if you buy a lot I'll give you a squishy if you buy little then I guess I can put in some glitter and some sequences and notepads just for you guys to enjoy and last but not least we have packaging it's self-explanatory you just have to package the items in plastic I make sure that if I have liquids, I bubble wrap them and if there's glass, I also bubble wrap them so that nothing spills and nothing breaks. But sometimes you just can't avoid it. So I just try my best to keep everything sealed. And for the extras and other products, I also like putting them in cute baggies from Daiso. And since I have a lot, might as well use them because they're so cute and I'm sure that they just add so much creativity to the package that is basically how i pack my orders it's a very long process but it's really fun oh yeah if you guys want to check out my shop again i sell craft materials and i sell slime supplies and as well as slime the link of the shop will be down below you need the shoppy app of course So yeah, that is how I pack my orders. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below about packing orders. And if you have any suggestions, guys, about what you want to know about starting your own slime business or small business in general, go ahead and comment down below so I can make a video about it. And I'm so excited to see you guys in the next shop vlog. So yeah, as always, may you guys have a kawaii day. Bye!